Hey, Derek, you know how I got so jacked? How? I followed the nine ancestral <laughs> tenants. Oh, that, I heard that works really well. <laughs> it's the best way. Yeah. Boy, when I saw that video that you posted, you actually sent me the video after I'd already seen it. I, I, I caught it like within three minutes of you posting it. Oh, my God. I, I saw it. It just showed up on my YouTube feed. I'm like, oh, yes, here we go. And uh wasn't surprised at all. No. I mean, it's all, it seems completely makes sense, but that's exactly what I expected. Isn't Joe Rogan a big, you know, um, workout type guy or, um, you know, boxing fanatic, like MMA, UFC type? Isn't there a lot of people in the sport, in that sport, that use like steroids and those type of aids in order to help them? Um, to help them grow and whatnot. Yeah, it seemed like just a matter of time. For him. There's no way you can look like that no. in your 40s. That jack. I mean, he's preposterously jacked. Now that we know that he's fully, we're talking about the <gasps> liver king, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people are like, what are they saying? This is all inside stuff. Yeah. There's a guy. If you don't know who the, the liver king is, the guy calls himself the liver king, and he's this guy who uh, walks around everywhere with no shirt on. I've seen him in Vegas with no shirt on. Big bushy beard, super jacked, and he was telling people that the way he gets that way is by sunning his balls. <laughs> he uh, he he. Did he say sunning his balls? What in the world is sunning balls? Literally lays down with his ass staring at the sun and yeah. and eats raw liver and just lifts like a maniac, and uh, that's how he's so jacked. But so he became really big. He's he, like he's huge. Let me find a picture. God gracious, that dude big. That dude big as hell. My gracious. And he says the only way to... <laughs> he was telling people that he got that way from working out and eating um, a certain type of way. <laughs> and he was able to benefit by selling uh, workout supplements, eating um, and, and all this other stuff. So he's getting rich off of this lie. Wow. So he's getting super rich off of the lie that he was not on anything. Okay. And now people know that he's lying. Ah, the jig is not up, though. I mean, he admitted it. Now people are going to say, okay, so where do we go from here? Does this mean he loses all of his money, his millions? Are people going to stop buying supplements from him? What does this mean? But it's preposterous. Yeah, too many polar extremes to have just like a unique marketing spin that was just highly viral, yeah. in my opinion. And I don't know. I think most people could see through it, but at the same time, he would like there was a lot of big names that even reached out to me after the video came out and they were like, you know, I didn't think he was natural, but this guy literally right to my face would say, like, blatantly, I am natural. And like a lot of people will take a guy at its word at his word when it's like a private conversation. And if he's straight up telling you in person, yeah, it's actually legit. I'm natural. And he was just lying out through his teeth seemingly. There's some people that are really jacked that are natural. For sure. Some people that are like super, super disciplined. They, um, you know, they're taking supplements, but all legal supplements that you can get at like a vitamin store. And they're just like, They've never gotten off the grind. And the, who's that guy? Paul Sklar. Did yeah. you comment on him? Yeah, yeah. He actually uh, did blood work like immediately after I had talked about it one time, and it checked out. Yeah, he looks like what's possible. Yeah, like I, if you don't know who that guy is, Paul he's super Sklar. jacked and he's fifty years old. But when I'm looking at him. I am not getting any like steroidy vibes. I'm getting mm -hmm. a really fit guy who works out really hard and has probably been doing it for 30 years. Yeah. That's that's what I get when I look at that guy. That's all feasible and possible. Now please go to the <laughs> Liver King. Please show me some preposterous Liver King physiology. Oh, he has uh, have you seen his apology? No, I haven't. Oh, I want to watch it. He comes clean on steroids. You, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys are able to I just watch. I want to see the... his images, though. I want to see some images <laughs> okay. of his body because his body is just so off the charts, ridiculously massive. That's okay, Joe. Hey, let me tell you something. I, what I appreciate about Joe Rogan, man, is that he's he's the type of person that you can just when you listen to his podcast, it's like he's just having a conversation with people. 
He's just having a conversation. He's getting down to the meat of it, but he's just having a simple conversation with people and he's keeping it entertaining. But he also says things that to the people who are not as in touch with their, you know, um, themselves as they should be, you know, I want to see his body. I need to see his body. You know what I mean? That's not, that's not, you know, kosher. But that's there's, like there's to some dudes. Unflattering lighting. Without yeah. A, yeah. I want to, I want to show some of him like jacked and lifting because he's just gigantic. So he did cover the ab implants and etching again. He said no to both, even in his apology. Touches on it. Is it po I mean, I guess it's possible if you're on that much juice that your ab muscles grow that big too. Because the kind of stuff he does is, you know, very core specific. Like he's doing mm -hmm. a lot of stuff where he's like cleaning and pressing kettlebells and walking with them over his head and all that stuff really does ignite your core and if he's doing that all the time i would imagine it's possible that those are real abs but that was the question do you think yeah. those are real abs um yeah personally i think they're legitimate abs and the the etching thing i think is more of the controversial topic did he have some sort of like cosmetic work done to target locally the fat around the abdominal you know definition would that areas. make much of a difference though because he's very lean clearly if you look at his arms you look at his chest you look at everything like look at that image right there he's so lean i mean yeah. how much fat would you even be talking about and how would that make the the, the thing is the topographical map of his his abs yeah. the way they pop up like mountains that's just mass yeah, that's where the question of whether or not that's real. Or that's a big dude right there. Let me tell you something. If I walked in the house looking like the damn liver king, my wife and I are probably gonna have another baby. You know, what I mean, she's she's not gonna be able to stay off of me. I'm I'm just gonna be drained because you know what I mean. I'm gonna walk up in the house and she's gonna be like, "Wow, you look like a superhero." You know what I mean? You look like a Marvel comic. You know, you look like a DC comic. You know, and she might take advantage of me. And I might mind, I might not mind. <laughs> or whether or not they're implants. That's what I was leaning to is just like, I feel like his overall body composition is pretty consistently represented. I don't think he has like disp, like I get that his. <laughs> yeah, like look at him walking there. <laughs> just... like, the, the argument is they don't change in, uh, like when he sits down or anything, the density of them and like the separation is so dramatic that it's gotta be something. Yeah. And you know, you could never really say if it was well done, like what did or didn't happen, I don't think it's implants, so that would be really obvious in my opinion. Well, granted, then it's like, well, if it's unnoticeable, would you even, right? you know. Right, it's like plastic surgery. You only see the stuff that's not good. Are you guys right? able to play the apology without it being copyrighted? Sure. Um, <sighs> yeah, we can play it for Come us. Come after now, us. We'll figure it out. I don't <laughs> He said, come after us. <laughs> I don't know what, like, the uh, Spotify copyright oh, rules are listen. like. Oh, listen. All right, we get to hear the apology. I think Spotify can handle this. Okay. Play the YouTube version. Cause Let's play it. Put a yeah. little bit up on Yeah, if you put it Instagram. on YouTube, you're more than allowed to. Here it goes. Uh, <laughs> Liver King <laughs> confession. <laughs> That's happened before. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people believed him. Including the Bell brothers, Chris and Mark Bell. I'm like, well, how, guys? You do steroids. Yeah. How, do you, how do you not look at that? This makes me feel good as a, as a content creator. The fact that Joe Rogan, multi-hundred millionaire, biggest daggone podcast on, on, um, on Spotify. I think, is, is it Spotify? And he can have technical issues where he's trying to pull up a video and it not play. That right there says, you know what, man? Everything's going to be all right, brother. Keep doing what you're doing. That guy and go, clearly. I think Mark likes to think that a lot of people, like, he again, he doesn't want to put a, is it working? Or a, like a, a limitation on what's possible. Like, he likes to believe that you could. And again, because this, the problem with this, too, is a lot of people will extrapolate this out and then think everyone with a jack physique must be doing something, which is problematic because then it sort of creates this right. this narrative around, you know, everyone's lying or anyone with a good physique. It's impossible to get there without yeah. doping your face off kind of thing, which is 
not the case. There are certain individuals who, like, I do believe that physique. Okay, maybe not, <laughs> maybe not that physique, but like within striking distance of that, in zero point zero 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 one percent of individuals, you could get there naturally. Yeah, potentially. Hyper responders. Yeah, guys who are just like ridiculous genetics. Like Ronnie Coleman, natural. Yes. Yeah. Perfect example. Yeah. Ronnie but- Coleman, natural, was super jacked. But he couldn't compete with the most jack guys, and then he started doing steroids. Yeah, and then he just exploded. But he's super honest about it. Like, when Ronnie talks about it, he just will explain. Like, up until he was 30 years old, he was natural. Yeah. So can we get it, or is it? Okay. I've got a little. Because I'm embarrassed and ashamed. It sounds fucking terrible. Yeah. Maybe there's another version of it. I think there's something wrong with my cable for some reason. I'm looking at the audio on my feed, and it's... This is awesome. He's having technical difficulties. And and, and, and this is what he does every single day. See? Uh, too much of that weed and got into the cords. Too much of that weed and got into your system, bro. Not your system, but the the production system. <laughs> Y'all yeah, gonna have to start smoking outside, man. Uh, the, the Your production system don't feel like it. It's, it's a little high right now. It's still high from weeks ago. <laughs> Finals. I'm making this video to apologize. <laughs> because I fucked up. <laughs> because I'm embarrassed and ashamed. Because I lied. And I misled a lot of people. I've stated that this is a complicated as fuck topic. At least to me it is. Because before social media... I was rich and anonymous, and after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous, and I never expected this kind of exposure in the public eye. It's been tricky as to navigate. Well, clearly, I did it wrong, and I'm here now to set the record straight. (laughs) Yes, I've done steroids, and yes, I'm on steroids, and I'm really managed by training. He said, yes, I've done steroids. Yes, I'm on steroids. <laughs> he said, yes, I've done steroids. Hormone clinician. Uh, Never came the public figure was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness to the 4,000 people a day who kill themselves, the 80,000 people a day that try to kill themselves, our people are hurting at record rates with depression, autoimmune, anxiety, infertility, low ambition in life. Our young men are hurting the most, feeling lost, weak, and submissive. So I made it my job to model, teach, and preach. <laughs> he did it for the hurting people. Yeah. Come on, Derek. Yeah, the the comments are... Hey, that's, that's a good cause. He did it for the people who are... Killing themselves, you know what I mean. He he had to be more buff for them. Not no too favorable on that so part of the video. Our highest and most dominant form. This is my fight. This is why I exist. Pause. <laughs> Your highest and most dominant form. Yeah. What he he, that, he wanted everybody that's depressed and trying to kill themselves to reach their highest, most dominant form, but. He wanted to lie about how he achieved his physique, so mislead these people right. that just by eating liver, you can come close to that. So as you fail at that as well as everything else you failed at life, that led you to the point of doing something to yourself that you're, you're thinking about committing suicide. Yeah, like that's I, what he's saying. And also, you can no longer trust your hero, who you're following behind, hoping to gain the same results that he gained naturally, allegedly. Allegedly on the roids. I feel like in this video he had like a very good opportunity to just straight up say sorry, up, etc. Which I think he thought he was doing, but he also makes a few little comments in there that I feel like people really dug in on, like the whole I didn't expect it to happen this or me to blow up this much. It's like it was very meticulously planned out from inception of the brand within this. I don't know if you saw the emails, but it's like within one year, year, I want to be at exactly this in social media following. And this is what I'm going to do. What's his social media following at now, Jamie? What's his like uh, Instagram? I bet he's at 5 million. I think on TikTok. 1.7 million. On TikTok, he's at like 3 point something million. Mm. Wow. Half it's Chinese bots. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) All right, let's play some more of this nonsense. Yeah. It's spreading the message 
I've been on several podcasts, and when asked if I've ever taken steroids, I've always said no. I don't touch the stuff. Not gonna touch the stuff. <laughs> never touch the stuff. <laughs> that was a lie. I think she... I've convinced myself that this had nothing to do with the ancestral message. I convinced myself that I'm not a competitive athlete of any kind. So who the am I cheating? <laughs> I convinced myself. That's what I said too. I said that he's not a competitive, he's not a competitive um, athlete. If he's not a competitive athlete, because I was trying to figure out what he was involved in, either he was boxing, wrestling, or something, football. But I don't know. But since he doesn't do that, I was then saying, well, then he has the right to do whatever he wants to do. But, but if you're misleading people into thinking that you are that, all that you are, what they're seeing that you are. Um, naturally, and it's not natural, but people are purchasing your products. People are looking at your videos. People are making you more and more and more rich because you said you was rich before, but you were anonymous. You know what I mean? Nobody knew you all like that, but now you're rich and everybody know you. Um, well, you probably wouldn't be as famous if people, I mean, you would actually, if you was just honest, bro. Yeah. If you was just honest with people, you would have been more, I mean, it, it, it probably wouldn't be bad, but it's about integrity. It's about character. It's not about who was you hurting. It's about your integrity here. That's what it's about. That this topic was a placeholder for a far more important conversation. I convinced myself that this would overshadow the 36 years of working out, usually twice a day, without PEDs. That's not true. No. I convinced myself that this was the vocal minority, usually in the fitness category, driving to an unproductive conversation. And I had convinced myself that this would be the wrong message to send to the 15-year-old boys. Oh, the 15 year old so boys. I continually dismissed it. The ones who actually can get myself. jacked. Yeah. <laughs> They're full. We've, we've, we've seen enough. He's, you know what the problem is? Sometimes people don't hang out with people that are smarter than them. Mm. And you think you're the smartest person, or maybe because he's running this company, you know, people have to listen to him. Mm -hmm. So he's got this distorted perception of his ability to communicate and his ability to, like, convince people. Like, that was so theatrical and so yeah. corny. I don't know how, like, what kind of thought process went into the. There, there was some sort of ROI calculation on if I lie, like, what is the probability I get outed versus right. how viral can I go if I lie from the, the get-go versus, like, I just don't know how his team, especially with the information out there, thought that it was going to be a net win where it's probably never going to come out. Does he have a team? Yeah, it's pretty elaborate. Like his team was, uh, well, he has a media team that he hired to kind of like. Right, but they're just employees. Yeah. One I... of them came up to me in Vegas. Oh, really? Yeah, one of my security guards stopped him. He was like, I'm a producer for the Liver King. Uh... I'm like, Produ what do you produce? What are you producing? Yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. It's not a if, movie. Like, how many UFC events did he try and. I mean, he's, uh, see, in that right there, he's a content creator, so he has someone that edits, edits his videos. He, he shoots his videos. He has someone shoots his videos wherever he is. And he has someone putting them together. You have someone editing them together and uploading them and putting all of the tags. And he's on many um, platforms. So he do need someone to help him out when it comes to that. Especially, he don't need anyone to help him out. But he's rich enough to be able to afford paying someone, giving someone an opportunity. So shout out to him for that. So I see why he would have a, a, a producer. That makes sense. As a content creator, I understand that part. Um, if he has one million people following him on TikTok and three million following him on um, IG and probably a couple more millions following him on YouTube, he need people to go into his videos and 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 chop up those uh, that content so that it can be palatable on all platforms so yeah that's why he has a producer i understand that part it's not about him making movies or tv shows or anything like that and he also need producers who can put together his 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 sales pitches like whatever he's selling if he's selling pills or drinks or something that help you work out more and the angles of it all like he needs that 
He probably shoot thousands of hours of video and he need those thousands of hours to be chopped down into something palatable for his um for his audience. So yeah, a producer is definitely necessary, especially at his level. So yeah, um kind of like I thought that the apology was whack too, but I do understand that part. Cozy up. He was front line, front row at one of my shows in Vegas. Oh damn. At the MGM. Hmm. Yeah, and then I saw him again at the Canelo fight. He was trying really hard to get on the podcast. And he's been trying really hard to get on now. He uh, contacted contacted a few friends of mine. And some of them that have, like, Burt Kreischer, that had him on the show. Yeah, he told me he's trying to get on. <clears throat> yeah, for well. what? For what? Say that more? Like, come on, this is dumb, man. This is You ran a con game, and you got busted. Yeah. And it's unfortunate that you feel terrible. I'm sorry you feel bad, because that's just what happens when you get caught lying. But you didn't have to lie. Yeah, you like, know, I don't even see how bad it would have been if from the get-go he was like, <laughs> I, you know, it's not the healthiest. I want hormone replacement. Yeah, but, like, I, I understand the not wanting to talk about the other because he was on Winstrel, Decca, yeah. high amounts of GH, etc., which is not ancestrally consistent, but neither is HRT because <laughs> it's like, well, right. if, if your diet was so dialed, like, why is it that you don't have, like, adequate testicular function? Or This was cool. It was informative. Um, I now know who the liver king is. And we heard his apology. What do you think? Do you think it measured up? Do you think it was pointless? Do you think it served its purpose? I mean, it's, it's all contingent upon how you look at things. So uh, I see what he was doing here. Um, I understand. I just wish he was more honest. He's way too... I don't understand why anybody, in order to be successful at a thing, have to lie. It makes absolutely no sense. You shouldn't have to lie to get a job. You shouldn't have to lie to keep a job. You shouldn't have to lie to get a love interest. Um, you shouldn't have to lie to keep a love interest. Like, it's so many different things out here. Why is he so, he's ginormous. He got all the muscles in the world. He's rich as hell. He has employees. He's doing great in life what's his motivation to lie what's your point what's your purpose like sometimes we get so deep into the lie that we have to lie in order to cover up the lie and he probably thought nobody would ever figure it out and he would never have to address it isn't that usually how lies go that's usually the case people lie and lie and lie until they don't like okay oh you got me my bad my bad i didn't mean for you to catch it for you to find out that's what the video should have said i'm sorry that you found out <laughs> that's it that's it i didn't mean to let down the people who believed in me because this is for the 15 year old kids 15 year old boys who want to get some gains nah bro um that's lame man i mean people look at you already and regardless if you're see your effort alone is enough to keep people um as fans of yours i'm talking to the liver king like i don't care how much steroids you take unless you're in the gym and you're actually putting in that work you're not going to look like the liver king period unless you're eating the proper things you're not going to look like him period so you didn't have to lie at all like what's the point like do your thing if that's your thing you're affecting your body and your body alone. But now what happens is people who look up to you and people who um, who want to be you, who now know that their hero uses steroids, what do you think they're going to start trying to do? Now a lot of other people are going to start leaning towards steroids because of you. So, yeah. Yeah. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know about that one right there. That was my humble opinion, um, per usual.